So thanks, Walter, for accepting the invitation to talk. Even uh, now, we are just finished uh, some university, so we are in Spain. And uh, first of all, how was the some university for you? Well, it was a very good experience. There were 200 people from 32 countries and this uh, sentiment of solidarity and being together and being in dialogue was very, very, very good. Uh, for me, the most impressive thing actually was that uh, there was a panel in which uh, Palestinian uh, genocide in Palestine and generally speaking, uh, the question of peace was in the center of this summer university. The European Left Party is a party of peace. We want to achieve ceasefire in all the wars in which take place now in the Ukraine, in Gaza, in Sudan, everywhere, because uh, peace is in the center of that what the European Left Party is about. And well, talking about the, the European election, after the election, now we're facing a new crisis. The new phase is still von der Leyen on, on, on the table for the Commission. And we probably will see a large, wider front in uh, in favor of the von der Leyen project, coming from the Greens to HCR, our Meloni government. Do you think this is feasible or it would be possible? And what are the left role in this? Well, when it comes to the European elections, I would say that the most important change is the uh, rise of the far right on the European level. Uh, now we have this new fraction, Patriots for Europe, with uh, Viktor Orban, with the FPÖ from Austria, which is the third strongest uh, group in the European Parliament. And uh, apart from the number of seats which they have, they exert a huge pressure on the European Commission. And we see this uh, already. Uh, because uh, the uh, Green Deal, for example, is really downgraded in the agenda of the uh, European Commission. On the other hand, I think uh, history is made by the people. And that's why I believe that the most important event after the European elections is the new Popular Front in France, which demonstrates that if the left is united and if the left combines the struggle for uh, freedom and human rights with uh, the struggle uh, for uh, social equality and women's rights, it can defeat the far right. So I would say that uh, we are approaching a period of uh, huge social and political struggles and uh, the future is not written yet. It's a clash of different social and political forces and that will uh, mark uh, the development of the forthcoming months and years also in the European scale. So the European left is not living a good time. Do you think uh, is it necessary something for in enlarge the European left party and support the idea that we have to unite? First, what are good and what are bad times? We are entering in a phase of social, political and cultural struggles and that poses no questions and that means that we have to address these new questions boldly, optimistically and it's true what you say that uh, one of the conditions to defeat the right and the neoliberals is, uh, is unity. But I think we should not uh, enter into this new phase with a, mute, with a mood of pessimism. On the contrary, times are changing, the left must change, 
And I strongly believe that the left is capable of changing because that's what the left is about, namely addressing the needs and the demands of the people. And uh, I'm pretty optimistic uh, when it comes to the question that we are able to address these needs of the people in a completely new situation. Thanks a lot, Martin. Thanks.